Shots of burn. Shots of burn. Black. Black. Take a shot, take a shot, take a shot. Shots of burn. You can take it straight up on the rock. Shots of burn. On this platform, it goes down. Shots of burn. They know it ain't no cap on shots of burn. Take a shot. What up, what up, what up, everybody? Welcome back to Shots of Brown, baby. I am your host, Shane Brown. Man, I'm back, man. If you're new here, you know what to do here. Y'all hit that subscribe button for me one time, right? Like, comment, share the videos, tell a friend to tell a friend about Shots of Brown. All my day ones, I appreciate you. New subscribers, welcome to the SOB family. Thank you for tuning in. Listen, so one of the um, one of the subscribers had hit me on the Instagram channel, Instagram page, I apologize. Also, yeah, follow me on Instagram at Shots of Brown. You can send me a DM if you got any type of request for any type of content, send me a DM over there on Shots of Brown. We can chop it up all that over there. So uh one of the subscribers had hit me over there and was like, What you do a video talking about? Life after shots of burn. I'm like, okay, yeah, that's dope. All right. So I was like, um, yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do that. So, you know, I guess I'll just touch up on some, uh, touch up on some things, man. It's been really, you know, quite of a ride. Since I started this Shots of Brown platform. Y'all hold on. Give me one second. Y'all give me one second. Give me one second. Man. Yeah, my bad. Y'all had to get me a water right quick. So, Pete. Um, life after Shots of Brown. For those that don't know, I started Shots of Brown. July 4th, 2022. So we like a year. What we in September? So we like a year and two months in, damn near. You know what I'm saying? Um, with shots of brown. Um, I'm happy with the progress of shots of brown. Not, you know, I could have done better. You know, I, I haven't really been. I wasn't really consistent in uh, how I needed to be. You know what I'm saying? Um, just due to circumstances, due to life. You know what I'm saying? Just a lot going on um, within the family, within my own life, with you know different situations and things of that nature. I'll get into in the video, but um, so I haven't really been consistent as I have would would wanted to been with shots of brown. Um, I've been trying to be consistent now as of like the last month or so, you know, I've been building it up, trying to, you know, put more content out. Um, I don't know if anybody's noticing or not, but that's definitely what I've been trying to do. I feel like I've been dropping a lot more content as of late, lately, you know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like I definitely have, but I even want to get better with that. I want to drop content then there. I mean, every day, you know what I'm saying? Um, reviews and all type of shit like that. I just got to really figure out how to do these reviews the proper way. So if y'all got any suggestions for me on how to do it, please DM me on Instagram. Like, is there an app? Is there anything that I can use that's going to help me? That's just going to make do, doing these reaction videos easy. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not really a... Uh, internet type of person for real so it's like you know it is what it is but um if you got any information for me man if you're a content creator you just know you know what i'm saying dm me on shots of brown on instagram but nonetheless though um so yeah so we started shots of brown man uh july 4th 2022 is when we first dropped the first official video man um you know i think the first major video after that uh I spoke on the episode from Every Little Step that had my mother and Uncle T on there. Um, my mother and Uncle T on there, yeah, uh, with the whole 
you know, Uncle T can clean the bus and, you know, the whole thing with my mother and, you know, that whole, you know, the whole shit, how, it, you know, that whole thing. If you haven't seen that episode, check it out. Um, if you haven't seen the video, you can check that out as well. But that was my first video. That video went crazy, like, that video, uh, that video, like, raised a lot of, you know, had a lot of people in the family talking, you know what I'm saying? Um, and everybody was like, oh, damn, what Shane got going on? But, um, I was just fed up at that point, you know what I'm saying? Um, the situation, I, I was just already finding, you know, learning the situation, and, um, I was just fed up at that point, because it was, you know, I was kind of upset about, you know, um, my mother even being able to sit with him for real. Uh, that, um, even during that whole time, you know, I'm going to give y'all a little bit, even during that whole time right there when they was filming that here in Atlanta, you know, uh, I tried to pull up on, I tried to pull up on, I reached out and was trying to pull up, sit down and have a man-to-man -man conversation with some, you know, with some people and uh unk and a few others and you know um it couldn't happen you know what i'm saying it couldn't happen uh it couldn't happen you know they was uh threatened to call the police on me told security uh if they seen me you know to shoot me and this that and the third so it was just a whole lot of a whole lot of shit man that was that that video caused bro um, and it was just haywire from there, you know what I'm saying? From that video there, it was just, you know, it didn't, it, it, it was, it, that's the start of it all. You know, it started getting worse after that, you know what I'm saying? Because after that, I had my mother on, and, um, and when I say worse, I say like, when I mean, when I say worse, I mean like a lot of people in the family was, they was getting madder and madder that I was doing shots of brown, you know what I'm saying? It was bringing awareness to certain things and speaking the truth on certain things you know what i'm saying um but i had my mother on great episode great episode i had landon on after that um that was uh some dope episodes i think we did like a three-part series with landon on here uh dope episodes right there so um with my mother so with this shots of brown thing you know me and my mother we fell out sometimes during this shots of brown thing as well um where our situation, our relationship was kind of rocky too. I just didn't like certain things, didn't agree with certain things. Um, felt like a lot of things needed to be said and done, but um, she understood me, but I don't know what it was. She'll be back on though, she'll be back on. She'll be back on soon, and we gonna, you know, well, if any questions, uh, I got, I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a put it, I'm a, I'm a, I got it, I got it this time, so we gonna talk about it all when she get back on, but, um, but right now, me and my mother, we in a good space, you know what I'm saying, um, we in a good space, she understands, you know what I mean, 100%, she always understood, but I don't, you know, y'all will get her, 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 what she gotta say when she gets back on, but, uh, me and my mother, we in a good space now, you know what I'm saying, but as far as, you know, then my, my next episodes after that, as far as people I interviewed from the family, was Landon. And, um, you know, me and Landon was always good. Me and Landon, that was like my bro. That was like my dog, you know what I'm saying? One of my favorite cousins for real. Like, he said the same thing on the platform. Like, yo, Shiz, you know, you always been my favorite cuz, one of my favorite cousins, dog, for real, for real. You always been a stand-up, genuine dude, blah, say, blah. Um, I think, you know, what came in between... What came in between me and Landon's relationship, honestly, was Uncle B and Alicia. You know what I'm saying? Um, they didn't approve of the shots of brown shit. They didn't want nobody from the family really standing close to me. I mean, especially not nobody that came from Uncle B's cloth. You know what I'm saying? Landon is Uncle B's, uh, you know, son at the end of the day. So, you know... Uh, him standing close to me only made, or him maintaining a relationship with me only made 
Uncle Ben. It didn't make Uncle Ben and them look good. You know what I'm saying? So he had to step back from me. But me and his relationship fell out around the time where I started doing the videos for and bringing awareness to the Bobby Christina Foundation. You know what I'm saying? If you've been on the channel, you watched the Bobby Christina Foundation videos that I did. You seen that when I spoke on that, a lot of things changed. Not, probably not, I'm, I'm pretty sure nothing changed on the, on the back end as far as paperwork and none of that. It's still Alicia and her family getting all that money. But on, as far as the website, they, everything that I said on that, I mean, how we needed to be ran, they fixed it on there. Because if you was on the website before, you see that Alicia and her family was the one, and the lawyer, Chris Brown, was they was the ones running that whole thing. When I spoke on it, I'm like, yo, why Uncle B ain't in charge of Bobby Christina's foundation? Why That's his daughter. Why he ain't on there? He's not even mentioned on there. I mean, he's not even on there at all as running anything. Her siblings aren't on there. You know, then they went back and as soon as that video came out, they went and changed it. Uh, put Landon and LaPrincia on there. Put Uncle B on there. They changed the whole shit up. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you are a day one Shots of Brown supporter, you know that I'm speaking facts that it, you 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 witnessed it with your own eyes. You know what I'm saying? Um, they have another uh, they have another um, gala and all that coming up. I think it's next month in October. I don't, I'm still taking the stand on what I was saying last year as far as the gala. It's all fake. Y'all see the y'all see the what took place after that gala. I told y'all last year after every gala they promote it. When it's time for the gala to come, they they promote it because they want to get as much money as they could. They want to raise raise all the money they could. And after after it's the gala and all that's done, you never hear from the Bobby Christina Foundation again until the following year when it's a gala again and they want to raise more money for Alicia and her family to sort of live off of for the rest of the year until the following year. It's just, it's just a repeated cycle. Know what I'm saying? So I still take my stance on what I said last year about the Bobby Christina Foundation. I'm not supporting it. Well, I'm not supporting it. It's it, it, it's just a uh, uh, it's just them using Bobby Christina and Auntie Whitney's likeness to get money to take care of Alicia and her family, people who had no love or nothing for her, nothing for them at all. Know what I'm saying? Nothing for them at all. Um, I think it's very unfair. I think Uncle B needs to wake up and. Really, um, just look at the people around him and, and, and realize. I really truly believe he understands, though. I don't know why he's not really taking a stance and doing nothing. I guess he's just like, hey, I'm going to just gracefully bow out, man. It is what it is. I'm going to live my last days with people taking advantage of me and taking over my legacy and, you know, uh, disrespecting my daughter and this, that, and the third. I guess he's he's that's just how he's going to live out his last days. But to each his own, that's on him. Let him do his thing. Um, It's just unfortunate that it's just unfortunate that uh, Auntie Whitney and um, Bobby Chris, you know, they they have to be used and abused by these people, man. Um, from both ends, you know what I'm saying? From 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 Pat and and and, and that Houston side, and from uncle b uh, uncle b and the alicia side you know what i'm saying it's just it's just it's just messed up man um they could even pay y'all could even pay for and gave Lil bobby the best of the best funeral off of in 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 because uh off of off of the money from the foundation his sister would have paid for it you know what i'm saying but that wasn't even still done but um it just is what it is so uh but life after shots of brown, you know, and after that, I dropped some more few videos and, I, and, 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 you know, things of that nature. But um, I haven't really done a lot of videos with family. I think the only people I interviewed from the family was my mother and Landon, to be honest, to be exact. I think those are the only ones. But I have a few more coming. I have a few more coming. And when they come and when they drop, it's going to be it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. I got I got I got I got some interviews coming. But um, as far as life after shots of brown, man, um, you know, uh, my relationships with, with my family has completely come to an end. You know what I'm saying? I don't really talk to, I don't talk to nobody from my family, you know, other than my siblings and, uh, you know, my mother and, 
Uncle Tommy, you know what I'm saying? Me and Uncle Tommy's relationship too at one point was kind of rocky. We wasn't really seeing eye to eye and um, you know, our situation was kind of rocky too, you know what I'm saying? But now me and Uncle, my bad, my bad. And I ain't even gonna edit that out. That was a bloopers I'm keeping in, but listen. <laughs> Me and Uncle T's relationship was kind of rocky too at one moment, know what I'm saying? And, um, we good now though, know what I'm saying? I under, I, we good now. Um, I understood Uncle T's position, know what I'm saying? Um, these people that's involved in this is close to him, know what I'm saying? He's heard about the whole situation, so. Um, everybody just fucked up with it, I guess, dealing with it on their on they, on they own, or how they coping with it, or how they do, know what I'm saying? Um, I was really expecting some people to reach out to me. I was expecting some phone calls by now, you know what I'm saying? Some people to get some things right. Get some things right, you know what I'm saying? Um, via, uh, you know, Uncle B, uh, Tommy Jr., you know what I'm saying? Um, a few other family members, you know what I'm saying? Uh, no, not even a few other family members, but those, you know, those two. Uh, but you know, that still hasn't taken place and it's all good, you know what I'm saying? I'm not looking for that no more, man. It's all love, you know what I mean? Um, I could really uh, care less on uh, them really reaching out now at this point. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Um, it just showed me their true colors, you know what I'm saying? On how they really are, you know what I'm saying? Who they with, who they really are. This whole thing has, you know what I'm saying? Showed me, um, who they really are, you know what I'm saying? They was never who I really thought they really was, you know what I'm saying? Um, they done some shit, man, that we, we could never come back from it and we could, you know, uh, should it never be the same, you know what I'm saying? I just felt like I res deserve the respect, the ones involved deserve the respect of these people to face up to, you know, face these, you know, up to what they've done and make they, you know, make they wrongs as right as possible. But, you know, I guess some people don't really, you know, can't really take accountability, uh, pride, ego. There's a lot of shit in the way, but um, it's all good. But um, life after shots of brown, man, you know, um, I went through some shit, man. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I went through like a serious depression, uh, you know, for real, for real. I ain't even gonna lie. I'm gonna just be all the way 100 with y'all to where I was then. Cause on top of that, I was dealing with so much more, you know, with my children and in and out of court with things of that nature. And it was just a lot being thrown at me at one time to where it was like, damn, it's like, it was just a lot, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, um, so I kind of slipped a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And lost, lost focus a little bit because, you know, I was just so, oh, sorry, I was just so, fucked up to be 100 um you know i'm bouncing back though i bounced back you know i went to therapy man um one of the best things i could say i ever done you know what i'm saying keep it 100 man it was like a yo i used to think therapy was like for motherfuckers in my younger days for like people who was crazy and needed you know needed help and needed you know things of that nature but i'm telling you it was like one of the best things one of the best decisions I ever made in my life it was able it gave me what I was able to see clear you know what I'm saying um I just always been the type of person too I never really had a lot of people in my life that I could really talk to about every any and everything you know what I'm saying so and then, you know as a man too we tend to bottle a lot of things up and not really let a lot of get a lot of things off our chest and I mean we go through a lot of shit that you know a lot of people wouldn't even know so and that's just how I've been my whole life, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never really been the type of person, you know what I'm saying, to really talk to too many people. And then, you know, coming from a family that I come from, you can't really trust too many people, friends, and type things of that nature. So it was really even hard to even have somebody to really confide in and talk to about certain shit. You know, and I don't really have family members that I really rock with like that, where I really t can talk to about any and everything. My, my grandmother was like the closest thing to that for me, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I could talk to people, but not how, you know, not for real, man, I'm, you know, but, so I just had a lot of shit, man, that was just up in me, dog, that, 
just had to be released. You know what I'm saying? Um, so therapy for me was a great thing. You know what I'm saying? So if anybody's on here and feel like, you know, they need somebody to talk to, they're going through a lot. Man, I just, man, I'm just like, bro, go go seek therapy, man. It really, it really benefited me, man. It, it really gave, it really helped me with like seeing things clear because I was going through so much. Like my brain was cloudy. I couldn't even, I couldn't even think clearly. You know what I'm saying? My brain, I was just, I was just, just lost for real, man. Um, I was in, I was just lost, man. Um, for right, I'm gonna just keep it real with y'all, man. Um, and it just, I just, I could see clearly. You know what I'm saying? I was able to talk to somebody that get it. I mean, just get my vision back, get my mind back on track. Um, just a lot, man. Started the healing process. You know what I'm saying? Was able to overcome a lot of things, man. Healing. You know what I'm saying? Was able to forgive. Know what I'm saying? A lot of people for a lot of shit, man. Um, even with this thing right here, what's hard for me to forgive? I'm still in shock with a lot. Know what I'm saying? But it's a, it's, it's like I'm able to forgive, I and mean, I, I can't really say I'm, I'm to the point where I can for hundred percent forgive. But that was before I couldn't forgive at all. I was all I could see was red. Know what I'm saying? But now it's like I'm in a better place. I'm able to forgive, man. And um, man, it's just been a journey, man. Um, even jeopardized my home front at one point because I was so lost, you know what I'm saying, with this shit, man, but, yeah, but, um, everything's coming back together, man, everything's on track, you know what I mean, everything's getting better, man, but, you know, it just be a lot of shit, man, um, you know, so when I say this, when I say Shots of Brown was good or bad for the Brown family, um, it's crazy me and Tyreka talked about this on the video with me and her. And I'm going to uh, say, I'm going to say, um, it will, I'm going to say the same thing. It was good and bad, but I'm going to say it, it helped and it hurt. Um, I'm going to say it, it, it helped because it made me a lot of people, you know, uh, it opened the eyes of a lot of people. See, the Brown, my family, they watch these videos. You know what I'm saying? Um, when I drop these videos, it'd be a lot. But so it, it helped in a, in a sense because, you know, it, it, it a lot of conversations with some people was able to be had. You know what I'm saying? Um, it sparked up a lot of real conversation. You know what I'm saying? That needed to be had that a lot of people was been, that, that, that been swept up under the rug for a lot of time, a, a lot of years. Although it may have it hurt by, you know, um, you know me losing the contact with my family and me not, you know, me turning myself into the, me being the black sheep of the family now, which I'm totally fine with. Um, I, I, you know, I know I stood for something. And I would, I would do it all again. You know what I'm saying? Um, at the end of the day, any, any, any man in my position would stand for what I'm standing for. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even just man. Any man, woman in my position would stand what I'm standing for. Would stand for what I'm standing for. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, um, people in my family ain't gonna stand for what I'm, they're not gonna stand with me because, uh, you know, Uncle B is who he is. You know what I'm saying? Um, what are they seeking? I don't know. Whether they want a ticket to one of his, his next concert, the, the new edition concert. I don't know what it is. You know what I'm saying? But right is right and wrong is wrong they know that um i'm right at the end of the day you know what i'm saying they know that uncle b is wrong they looking at this you know there's some that look at him in a certain way you know what i'm saying um but they won't let him know you know what i'm saying uh and uh you know but it is what it is man so um that's really life after shots of brown for me man you know i have no connection to my family like that really i don't really talk to a lot of people no more than i used to talk to and uh which is good with me. Do I ever think I would have a relationship with, with these people again? To be 100% honest with you, I really don't want that no more. I really don't seek that. Now, true colors have been shown. Um, and with this situation right here that um, took place, this is something real. You know what I'm saying? And people turned on me in a, in a situation where if this was on, when the shoe was on the other foot, I would have never turned my back. I would have been on the front line like, hey, yo, we got to get this right. 
but I didn't get that respect. I didn't get that love, and it's all good, man. It's all good. Um, I'm not into looking to amend no relationship that was broken during this Shots of Brown process. I'm good with it um, because now it's like <laughs> it, it, it shows that it's no real love. It's no real loyalty. Uh, people's not going to stand, stand for what's right. And I really don't want no people, nobody around me that's that's really moving like that. You know what I'm saying? But um, I wish everybody the best. I really do, man. Um, I wish everybody the best. But at this moment right here, it's like I'm really just focused on myself, my siblings, myself, my family, my fiance, my kids, my siblings, mother, that's it. You know what I'm saying? Everything else, man. Um, you know, it really is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Uh I ain't tripping on nothing, you know what I'm saying? But I had to talk, so a lot of people, you know, talking. It is what it is. <laughs> but, um, so that's what it is, man. I appreciate y'all for tuning in, locking in with me. Shots of Brown, baby. I'm dropping more content, more content, more content. Like I said before, if y'all know, send me something to the DM on Instagram about how I can do these reactions, man. Please. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. Much love. Shots of Brown, baby. We out.